What's up animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful manual tips within 5 minutes. Today I want to talk about how to save and load rigs. Let's start. So right here I've got a rig of a grass block with a face <laughs> and you can always change the block as you wish. It can be anything, all this should probably adjust the colors on the eyes and stuff. Now I want to put this grass block into my other project. How do I do that? First up let me open up another project and it happens to be the cowboy collab thing. It's gonna take a while. I'm reconsidering my life choices. Oh there we go. So I want to put my grass block in here. What I can do is click this icon. This is a very important icon. Remember this icon. Import an asset. Quite literally what I can do is I can browse for the entire project. Test number two. I have, I have a lot of stuff from before in here. Don't mind that. I can click this and it's going to import my grass block right here with the rig still attached without any extra junk that I didn't have before. I can just put this anywhere I want and that's it. Although if you import an entire project, you're also going to import the keyframes and all the other stuff that you might not want to export. Export. What if I have this grass block right here and I want to import just this grass block nothing else just the grass block first up I want to make a new folder call it grass face whatever and now I want to select the grass block anything in the grass block hierarchy and down here's an icon that says save selected objects click this I want to save this into my desktop into the grass face call it grass block rig if I open up a grass face you can see I have the grass rig my mirror object as well as all the textures that it uses it is important to keep all the textures in here. Without these textures, this is not gonna work. So if you're doing it this way, you have to keep all of it in one folder. And if you wanna give this to somebody, you have to give them the entire folder, including the textures. A lot of people don't do that and it just breaks the rigs. If you want it in there, you need the textures. Now, if I open up a different project, let's go back to test. Oops, I don't have my grass block anymore. Oops, I'm deleting everything by mistake. What am I doing? Resource, oops, oops, ah, my hand just slipped. And now what you can do is uh, you can click the import asset icon again, open your grass face, select the Minecraft object thing, and you should have your grass block, where is it? Right here, with all the translations that I had before, with everything just the way it was said before. So to summarize, you can import your rig as a Minimeter project or as a Minimeter object. You can import them by clicking the import asset icon, the best icon in the software change my mind and if you import a project you get everything in the project so sceneries characters lights everything and if you import it as an object you get only the object itself but it has all the transformations and I think the keyframes as well I might be wrong here but I'm pretty sure it does considering it also did all the transformations here I think it does now before I go I just want to say that this right here is my face rig the sharps face rig 2.0 thing and I'm still using it in 2021 and it still works I don't know why you guys are saying it's broken it works completely fine for me you must have messed something up although usually you're gonna get your rigs in a raw file right click properties it's gonna say dot raw or dot zip whatever you cannot use this this is just a compression file if you open this up this is where the true rig is so I want to take this out and now it works this is your rig I feel like it's also worth mentioning in this episode and now you guys are experts in loading and saving rigs there's nothing more I can teach you in this video so hope you had fun hope you enjoyed and learned something new obviously you know what to do not even gonna say it. <laughs> and with all that on the side, I'll see you next time. Stay sharp.